Welcome to Decker Tech. Uh, there is a, well, I'm Aaron Decker, yes. Uh, I get a question a lot enough that I'd like to do a little instructional video on how to back up your save file. Uh, Across the Obelisk is in uh, early access. It is not fully developed. Uh, these instructions are even on the Discord on how to access it because the reason you need to access your save files is to give the save file to the devs uh, to do some troubleshooting, stuff like that. Uh, also, me personally, I uh, my uses for this are that I am a video creator and I also am on medication that makes me forgetful. So I use this to back up my save files at town so that the inevitable forgetfulness or what I forget to do, I don't have to risk six hours of my time on a mistake that is not that is outside of my control to stop. So let me show you how to back up a save. Uh, right now, I have nothing in this slot. <laughs> Following, like I said, whoops, these instructions, you get to this folder location. Your user, app data, local low. App data is a hidden folder, so you have to enable hidden folders or go to it directly. Local low, dream site, across the obelisks. This big number is just the, um, this is just your, your profile. And then here's where all our data is at. So game data zero, one, and two are your single player saves. Uh, I think it's six, seven, and eight. Maybe it's five, six, seven, but six, seven, and eight are your multiplayer saves. So right now, in my game data two slot, that's this, uh, this bottom one, it's empty. And I'm gonna load up a thing for my last video. As you can see, I have all the towns. I also have this fungal one because uh, I thought that was an interesting enough fight that I might go back and make a video about it later. So I just back up to the the each of the town locations. So we'll do Act 3 Start Town. As you can tell, I didn't even think to do it until Act 3, which I risked a lot of play time anyway. So I had copied it over and renamed it, and now I'm going to bring it back in, delete all my extra tags. Now I'm calling it Game Data 2. It's still not there. You go back, you go to play. Now it's there. And this is, ta-da, the save file that I'd made previously. Now, let's uh, let's back up. Let's back it up again to another spot. So, sorry. So, no matter where you're at, the the save you can check what's what's been modified here. So, if I go, I haven't done anything to save the file. There it is. Game data mo date modified. So, game data two has been saved. So, something I did has saved it again. So, copy this. Make another folder. I don't care what you call it. La di da. I can even spell la di da correctly. I just copied this bad boy over here. You can leave it like this, or me personally, I like to rename it so I know, hey, this is the video guide, whatever. I'm just saving it here. And now, I still have this one, and I can just always access this and save it back to the location. Now, this only works for as long as uh, major changes aren't done, like adding an act or a biome or that kind of stuff. I also forgot to turn off my air conditioner behind me. I apologize for the noise. This was a spur of the moment video. So now I can just go ahead Delete this bad boy, and if I needed to bring anything else in, I could just go, hey, let's bring up this, uh, the twins fight. So some of these, because I do videos, are in weird save locations, just so that I can maybe tweak some changes, try to make content that people enjoy. Uh, it's not going to show right away, and then you have to go back into it again. You have to go to this screen once where it's empty, and then come back to it uh, again to see it. So usually I like to do it from this screen with the empty slot, then load it back in. You can do it from here, but then what will happen is it'll go in here, it'll still be empty, then you have to back out and go back in. So it's you have to just basically refresh that portion. This is subject to change. I don't know what the final version of this is going to look like. I don't know if they're going to implement this between now and the final release of the game. But this is early access. You do need to access your save files for specific bug reasons. And uh, me personally, I can't afford to risk six hours of my life for... Oops, I didn't click one of these buttons, or I clicked it in the wrong way. So, ta-da. There's certain places you can do it. Usually the saves are going to be before a fight, end of a fight, um, that kind of stuff. So this one I particularly wanted to save because there are some items I wasn't going to pick for the video that I made, but I wanted to pick for a future video I was going to make. So that's enough of me explaining why I do it. However you do it, why you do it, I don't care. It's just something that is currently available. It is something that you're going to need to do for uh, re reproducing bugs. I, 
it's something that is just currently in the system to help make the game a better place. Do with, do with it as you will. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them. Peace.